Okay, so what I want to do is I want to um, go through a couple of examples of calling functions that work with pictures. This particular function here is going to work with a picture, but it doesn't actually take any arguments. We're also going to look at a picture that a uh, function that takes arguments in a minute. So let's just trace this function. This is called quad blue, right? And I'm going to do a pretty quick trace of this. Um, first line of code, evaluate the right hand side. It says pick a file, right? Sign and statement. So we're going to evaluate the right hand side. We run pick a file. Pick a file pops up the file chooser and gives us a file location that we're going to put into there. So maybe I have a variable. Oops, let's, let me just make these a little bit bigger for you. So maybe I have a variable called file location that ends up as, I don't know, C colon slash my pick slash pick dot, well, P dot JPEG. All right, so there's my picture. Okay. And then we say run make picture on file location. So run make picture on C my picks P JPEG. And that goes into a box called pick to change. So I have a new box called pick to change. And let's say maybe pick to change has a picture of a smiley face in it. Okay, that's a real picture. All right, and then we're going to explore pick to change. So the smiley face ends up on the screen, it pops up. We run get pixels on pick to change. Remember when you run get pixels, you get a list of all the pixels in the image. We're going to put that into a box called big list of pixels. And so big list of pixels, well, it's going to say, all right, I have a pixel at zero, zero inside of this pick to change, right? It knows where the pixel is. And that happens to have an RGB color of 155, 255, 25. And there's a pixel at zero, one. And that has a color value of zero, zero, two. And I have a pixel at zero, two. And that has a color value of 95, 62, 100, and so on, right? And eventually I get to the last bottom right pixel and maybe the bottom right pixels at location 99, 205, oh, 250 apparently. Um, and that has a value 88, 16, 32. Okay, so red, green, blue. All right, so there's my big list of pixels. And one at a time, I go through my list of pixels because of this for loop. And I call each one current pixel I'm working on. So the first time, current pixel I'm, that was a long name, isn't it? Current pixel I'm working on, um, that gets this first pixel, right? So I'm going to copy this first one. Stick that there. Okay. So there's the current pixel I'm working on is the pixel at zero, zero inside my pick to change. And this is its red, green, blue value. And it says blue value equals get blue. So I need to run the get blue function on this pixel and get the blue out of it. So I'm going to have yet another box that is called blue value and that gets RGB. So that's going to get 25 and quad blue value gets four times blue value. So I have quad blue value and four times 25 is 100. And then I'm going to set the blue of the current pixel I'm working on to quad blue value. So I'm going to change this 25 and I'm going to make it 100. Okay, great. Um, I'm done this part of the loop. So now this 100 actually change, right? This, this is zero, pixel zero, zero inside of my picture to change. So the top left pixel of the smiley face picture now has a different color, right? Okay, I'm done that first one. Now I kind of check off that one. Maybe I'm going to put like a, a, a little, uh, Oh, I'm going to put a little star next to it, which means I'm done. Now I'm going to do this one because this says run through each one. Now this, this one's called current pixel I'm working on. So that's the pixel at, oops. All right, the pixel is zero, zero, one. Okay, and blue value gets the blue from that. Well, the blue value on this is two. So blue value, um, we're going to cross off that and really current pixel I'm working on. I should have crossed off the old one and put in this value, but I'm running out of space. So I just wrote that in. So I cross out the 25 and blue value now is going to be two. Oops, let's get rid of those cross outs. 
Okay, um, and so quad blue value is four times two, that's eight. So let's put an eight, eight, eight in here and cross out the hundred. Okay, and we're gonna set the blue of the current pixel I'm working on to be the new one, so that gets eight. And so we keep doing this till we're done all of this stuff. And as we do this, I've set this pixel to eight. That means that the second little pixel in this thing now has a different blue value. And we go through all the pixels in my smiley face picture and eventually we change them all and we explore it again. So let's just run this function and see what happens. If I run quad blue um, and I'll run it on horse bridge. Um, and so there's my before. And there's my after, and if you look at any of the pixels, look at location 00, RGB is 191. At 00, RGB, it's now 255, because of course, remember, 255 is the biggest value we can get. If I try something darker, like this one, pixel 74, 242, and I go to 74 and hit enter, and I go to 242 and hit enter, it was 17 here, and it's 68 here, which, if you do the math, is actually 4 times 17. Um, so this looks good, this worked great. And that's what we're, we're kind of used to, we're used to doing that. But now let's look at this other function. Here's a function called modify red. And modify red is essentially the same as um, quad blue, except instead of multiplying by four, we multiply by something called my multiplier, so whatever I do. And instead of doing the whole pick a file thing in here, we actually um, pass in a picture as an argument. Okay, so if I want to run this, this is like any other function. In order to make this run, I have to call the function, modify red, but then I need to put something in here, right? I need to put a picture in here. So I need to start by down here in my command window, I need to do a, uh, you know, file location gets pick a file. And up pops my pick up a file thing, and this time maybe we'll do it on the passion flower. And I'll call it flower gets make picture allocation. So now if I explore flower, there we go, there's my passion flower, looks good. Okay, so now I'm ready to run modify red. So I say modify red. Um, and of course, all this stuff is gone, right? That's from the old function, we'll just get rid of it. Modify red, and I have to give it my picture. Well, my picture in the command window is called flower. When I copy the arguments up to modify red, it'll change the name. Um, and my multiplier, oh, let's say I want to multiply every red in that passion flower by six, okay? If you think about this, what's going to happen as soon as we say we want to run the modify red function, we make a new piece of scrap paper called modify red. And in there, we get a box called my pick, which if you remember from previous videos, we're going to have an arrow over to my flower picture. And my multiplier is going to end up with the value 6. And then we'll start running this function. It'll run very similarly to the other one. So if we run this, um, it's running. We can see back and forth it's running. And at the very end when it's done, Oops, I said explore pick, but it should be explore my pick. Sorry, guys. Right? Because I called it my pick here. Right? Okay, let's do it again. Oh, I need to load. All right. Run it again. Passion flower is big, so it takes a little while. Okay. And there we go. And if we look at the original passion flower picture, so if I just pop up, the um, original one, boy, well, wait a minute. If I want to try and pop up the original one, I don't have it anymore because I changed my pick. So I guess I need to make a picture again and then explore it. So let's explore flower. There's my original one. And let's see if I can get the just window that's the other one. There's this one. Um, Oops, what did I do wrong? Nothing changed. Oh, look at that. I need to set the red of one pixel. I set it to current redness, but I want to set it to the new redness. Okay. All right, let's try again. 
So let's run modify red on flower and six. There we go. That looks like six times redder, right? Let me pull up the original one. Or did I close it now? Okay. Well, if I just say explore flower now, you'll see it's the same one, right? It's red. Why is it so red? Well, it's so red because I, this, my pick was an arrow to my flower outside. Right? So if I want to look at the original flower again, what do I need to do? I need to say flower gets make picture. So reset it from the file location. And now if I explore the flower, there's my original, there's my new one. And we can look at location zero, zero, my uh, red was 22 here and it's 132 here, right? Six times. And if we pick a different location, that's 160, 11 and 19, 160. And 11, we can see that we had 167 here and 255 because we multiplied by six, but the highest we can go to is 255, all right? But the important thing to note here is that in order to run modify red, we had to put these guys in here. The other thing you wanna note is I don't really need to explore my picture in this modify red function anymore, right? Because this function is changing stuff outside of, of the function. So if I, let me load the program. Um, if I get another picture, so let me do, um, I don't know, motor file gets pick a file. And we'll get that blue motorcycle picture. And then I explore motor file. Oops, why can't I explore motor file? Can you see? Oh yeah, look at that. Pick a file, right? Pick a file returns a string, motor file's a string. Oh, wouldn't it have been nice if I'd been tracing this on my paper, right? If I'd been drawing this stuff down, I'd have known that. But anyway, oh well, you get to guess whether this was an intentional error or not. Um, okay, so I can't explore motor file, I gotta make a picture. All right, so motor pick gets make picture motor file. Cool. I can explore motor pick, right? Explore motor pick. There's my original motorcycle. Um, and I'm going to run modify red. Now I'm going to do it on motor pick. See, this is cool. I can run it on different function, on different pictures. I'm going to run modify red on motor pick. And this time I'm going to have my multiplier by 0 0.5. So I'm going to have all the red. I'm going to reduce the red. So I run it. Now that I've gotten rid of the explorer here, when the function's done, it just stops. And I think, huh, well, there's my original picture. Well, remember that this argument here, the my pick, because it's one of those beveled boxes, is an arrow out to this original picture. So this is what it looked like before, but if I explore it now, there it is with half as much red everywhere, right? So here the red is 73, there it's 36, which is half um, if, we, if we do um, integer division, which is what we did before. I pick another one. Let's pick this red traffic light. That's at 6687. And 87, and here it was 255, and we split that in half, it's 127, all right? So what you need to think about is when I run a function that has no arguments, that's easy, that's what we've been doing all this time, but when I run a function that has arguments, this is the same old, same old, I gotta pass in a picture. That means I need to make a picture down here. I gotta pass in a multiplier. That means I need to send in a value, all right, good.